This is a job I've honestly not been looking forward to. I've actually been putting it off for several weeks now. Um, I'm going to be threading the muzzle of my Saiga 223. As you can see, I've already got the barrel shroud cut back. I just did that with a rotary tool cutoff disc. Um, it's, the rifle itself is clamped between two pieces of wood at actually my kitchen table. Um, so it's better suited to be done in a vise. Uh, however, it's, it's really cold out today. I didn't want to do it out there. My cutting oil would start congealing. Um, I've got all the tools assembled, and I'm just going to uh, video document it just so that you can enjoy These it. are the tools I'll be using. Um, obviously, I've got the 14 by 1 millimeter left-handed die. It's already in my 1.5 inch die stock. Um, one thing to note is that you want to make sure that it's set to be as loose as possible for the first pass. Uh, next is going to be your thread alignment tool. I got this from Dinzag Arms. I'll provide a link in the description. Um, he's a great guy. It takes a few weeks usually to get things going, but uh, it's a great product. Um, I also have the old muzzle nut for my Bulgarian SSR85C. That's just going to help to uh, stabilize the thread alignment tool. Um, I've also got some cutting oil in a squeeze bottle. As uh, For threading operations, you're going to want to use as much of that as you can. Step one, I'm going to start the thread alignment tool into the die. And remember, you got to turn it left to oops, screw it in. There we go. So that is easier to get a grip with uh, a clamp here. Let me just spin it on. off. There we go. Okay, as you can see, I've got the first few teeth, I don't know if you can see that actually, exposed before the thread alignment tools um, threaded part gets in there. Um, then to, to snug this down, I'll take the barrel nut and just grab the threads and jam it up against the backside. Oh, and just uh, to point out in case this comes up, the lettering on the die uh, should be facing the workpiece. And that's how I've got it set up here. I don't know how well you can see that in the video. Before we begin, I put a little Teflon tape around the shank of the thread alignment tool just to provide an added bushing. Um, Dinzag's tolerances are very tight. So even with a very thin wrapping, it's very hard going to put it in there. Um, but that's a good thing. It's going to keep our threads nice and square. Next up, I'm going to put a little oil on the workpiece. By a little, I mean quite a bit. And a few on the teeth of the die. Now we're ready to start turning. Keep forward pressure on it. You start cutting. Back forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, Okay, getting very nearly done here. You can still see there's an unthreaded portion up closer to the barrel shroud, or the remains of the barrel shroud, uh, up here toward the muzzle end. You can see where I screwed up. What I didn't do was uh, back off the thread alignment tools. You can see it's much deeper into the die now. I hope you can see that. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I forgot to do is to periodically back it up. And I think that just pulled the threads right off. Um, luckily it happened where it, when it did and not further on. I could have broken the die as well. Have it bottomed out. Hey, some of the chips off there. See how well she fits. Alright, looks like all I needed was the one pass. Um, now this is ready to be used. Um, because the Saiga does not have a detent pin on the front sight base, um, I'm going to have to use a crush washer to, uh, to fit whatever flash hider or brake I use. But other than that, I got very lucky it looks like. Last step is going to be installing the flash hider. I've got here a crush washer from CNC Warrior made specifically for the 14mm thread. Then I'm just going to screw on the flash hider. Now since it doesn't have flats to use a torque wrench on, all I'm going to do is I've got some an old piece of leather belt and some channel locks. I'm just going to tighten it best I can. Well, that's pretty much it then.